Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is 24th day of August, being Thursday. And today, the mother just celebrates and battle of me, the apostle. I read this will be coming from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 9 to 14. And God may say, my response to Psalm comes from Psalm 145, verse 2a. My response to Psalm should come from Psalm 145, verse 12a. And God may say, will come from John Gospel, chapter 1, verse, 41 to 50, or verse 45 to 51. John Gospel, chapter 1, verse 45 to 51. The theme of our message today is, on, on the foundation of the Holy Jerusalem is the apostles. On the foundation of the city, oh, sorry, on the foundation of the Holy City of Jerusalem is the apostles, them of the apostles. On the foundation of the Holy City of Jerusalem is the name of the 12 apostles. And now why today, in the book of Revelation, we saw how AJ took, took him and said, come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And in the spirit, he carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. It's radiant like a most rare jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels, and on the gates, the name of the 12 tribes of Israel were inscribed. And on the east, three gates, on the west, three gates, and the north, three gates, and on the east, South Triggers is describing the city of God. He said, and the wall of the city had 12 foundations. Yes, had 12 foundations. And on them, the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The foundation of the city was on, they had the name of the 12 Apostles of the Lamb. Yes. That's what Paul was talking to the Ephesians. You have come to the, to the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles, and Christ as the cornerstone. And what he's telling us, I can see Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19 to 22. You are no more a stranger, you belong to the family of God. Our foundation built on the apostles with the, Jesus at the cornerstone of the house, of the, family, of the household. You can see the apostles were the foundation of the holy city of God. The names were there. And now why today the gospel message was showing us how the, some of the apostles were picked up. And they told us, for example, Philip found Nathaniel and said to him, we have found him or whom Moses in the law and also in the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. And Nathaniel said to him, can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. When Jesus saw Nathaniel, he said, lo, come to be said to him, Behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no girl. Nathaniel said to him, look at it, how the apostles were called. And he said to him, how do you know me? 
And Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Just revealed to him one thing. And Nathanael shouted, answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. You see, for you to be apostle of God, you accept the lamb as the king and the God of Israel. Yes, that's what makes you apostle of God. A condition for you to be. So Nathaniel prophesied that this son of God and is the king of Israel. He answered him, because I said to you, I saw you under the victory. Do you believe? You shall see greater things than these. And he said to him, truly I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God are shedding and descending upon the Son of Man. Do you see it? For you to be among the foundation of this new Jerusalem, you must believe in this God completely, absolutely, totally. Now what has happened to Bartholomew today? Many other people call him Nathaniel, but some other call him Bartholomew. And we call him Bartholomew today. He said, I surrender to God. Absolutely. And that became the foundation of the new faith. Any person who belongs to this foundation must accept God for what he is and completely and not compromising with any other thing. And now why the psalmist who understood this so well today, this said, your sense, O Lord, make known the glory of your reign. It is your sense, O Lord, who made the, the glory of your reign. This, uh, do testify to it. Had Nathaniel testified to this, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. And now when we're told that Bartholomew, Lily served and lived out his life. He's from Cana in Galilee. He became one of the 12 apostles. And we're told, as he described in the fourth gospel today, tradition had it that after the Pentecost, he preached the gospel in Armenia and suffered martyrdom there. Yes, he suffered martyrdom there. And I was celebrating him today because he is one of the foundation of the, of the church. May God help us understand today that the apostles are the foundation of our faith. It's one of the pillars of the foundation of our faith. And their life is a testimony of what we all of us should be. May God help us understand that the apostles are the foundation of faith and God called them. And they followed them uncompromisingly without looking back. May we understand this we say through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the apostles as the foundation of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Oh, no, no, no.